One of the really cool things about Adobe Illustrator and Adobe InDesign is the way these two products integrate. So in this example here, I have a graphic. And this graphic is the first in a series of graphics. So if I scroll down here, you can see that, that I've got other graphics. And these graphics successively tell a story of how to install a, a network, basically. So each graphic kind of adds a new component until you get to the end, which has all the components shown. Now, I didn't want to have seven separate graphics for this. I wanted to have one graphic. So what I did is in Adobe Illustrator, I have the full graphic here. And each of these separate things is a layer, right, that I can turn on or off here, depending upon what I want to show. That is key because now when I Im insert one of these graphics into Adobe InDesign, and let me select it here. I can go to Object, Object Layer Options, and I can choose what kind of stuff I want to show or hide based on these layers. So for example, this, this layer here is the patch panel. And if in this graphic I don't want to show the past patch panel, I just hide that layer. This is really cool because this means I don't have to have seven separate graphics. I can just um, continue to work with the same graphic, turning on or off the layers. And of course, these are all linked images. So let's say uh, I want to make an update in here, right? I can come in here, move something around, uh, save this. And now when I go back into Adobe InDesign um, and go to my links panel, I can basically come here to update link and it's going to it's going to update all of these images so see it move the cloud over here so this way not only do i have complete control over the image because i can just edit it in illustrator i also have uh, the image basically single sourced in a way that allows me to reuse all these components in a super um, powerful way so that's the interaction between adobe indesign and Adobe Illustrator, and of course, uh, I, don't, I didn't mention this, but these are all AI files. This, these aren't JPEGs or anything, so you don't have to worry about exporting them into other formats and so forth. You can just leave them all in their native files and continue to edit them. I'm Tom Johnson at I'd Rather Be Writing.com. If you want to know more, just check out my blog. Thanks.